Good morning, everybody. It is 4.30 a.m., a uh, beautiful Thursday morning. We got Chris Stapleton playing in the car, heading on up to the North Fork of the Kern River to go do some fishing. Very excited. I uh, have not fished up above the Johnson Dell Bridge yet. And the exciting part is there's a native trout species to the Kern River that is up there. Stopped. So I'm excited to go. In two miles, take exit 121 for Comanche Drive toward Edison. Thank you, Mr. Google Pants. So I'm excited to go fish some uh, native species. It's very cool. All right, my friends, we are here, Upper Kern River, just above the Johnsonville Bridge. Uh, about to start hiking in. Wasn't too bad. Took me about an hour and 45 minutes to get here. Um, it's really not that far from our place. Uh, it's just all the windy mountain roads that makes it take a little while. All right, let's go do some fishing. Hey everyone, so I'm about a mile back and this trail just keeps getting prettier and prettier the further I go back. Uh, anyway, but I thought I'd take a moment during the hike to talk about why I'm out here fishing. So, you know, for a lot of my life, as a youngster, I fished. I put so many hours into fishing, I loved it. And then as I got older, I kind of stopped fishing. I'd go fishing here and there, but as a kid, I fished for the sport. I never really enjoyed eating fish. Um, and then as I got older, um, I never really changed. So I kind of stopped fishing um, because I didn't really agree with sport fishing. I didn't really agree with going out and hunting for anything other than food. Um, but as a kid, I never liked game meats. Um, I never liked lamb. In like fish and now living on the homestead and raising our animals and going out hunting uh, I'm realizing that all those things have changed and I enjoy lamb I enjoy game meats I enjoy the grass-fed cows raised at Bright Creek farm so uh, I thought you know what maybe I like trout now <laughs> and since I really don't want to support big um, industrial fishing industry and big fish farms and all that. I'm just not into it. Uh, I don't want my dollars to go towards supporting that. So I thought, you know what? Let's put my dollars into fishing locally and maybe putting some more food on the table. We'll see. Hopefully, hopefully I really enjoy trout. And I'm also a much better cook now than I was when I was a kid. Sorry, Dad, but I think I'm a better cook than you now. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna keep going. Start fishing soon. Honestly, the iPhone camera's pretty good, but I know it does not capture just how stunning this place is. I need a proper camera, 
or man, I need an adventure buddy who really likes filming and taking photos to move up near me. You know who I, you know who you are. <laughs> All right, I swear I'm gonna start fishing soon. Um, problem with a person like me in a place like this, I came out here to fish, catch some food, bring it home, try out some recipes. Thankfully, I don't have anything else to do today because without a destination in mind, or a partner here that's like, no, let's just let's just fish here. Man, it is really hard to stop and fish out here. So beautiful. And just every bend, there's just something else that's so awesome that I'm having a really hard time stopping and just fishing. I will soon, I swear. But there's just this beautiful granite donum up here that I gotta check out first. Alright everybody, it's time to fish. So I don't know how far back I am. I mistakenly didn't download an uh, offline base map, so I couldn't track my progress. But I've been hiking for a little over an hour, and uh, I just finally said, alright, time to stop and fish. Uh, found this nice section with some good access. Let's see what we can get. Well, caught some fish, no eaters yet. Maybe like 12 to 13 inches. Uh, moving, filming for way too long, so the battery's gonna die soon. And so I might not get any shots of me filming fish. Uh, and the charger is back at the car, but um, keep fishing.